Good morning, children of God. I hope you had a good night's rest. If you haven't got your cup of coffee, let's go ahead and get you one. And we're going to go ahead and start this morning with our devotion called Morning Song. This comes from Psalm 96, verse 1. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. If you're still, you will see it. And if you listen, you can hear a symphony playing right outside your door. As everyone knows, the 17-year cicada are getting ready to come out, have a good time, and then they're going to disappear again for another 17 years. So don't bother looking for a bassoon or a clarinet or a cello or a trumpet. No man-made instruments are needed in God's performance hall. Instead, the living creatures contribute their sound of praise to the Father above with pitch and rhythm unique to their own kind. Tree frogs chirp from secret hiding places. Bullfrogs bellow in low, steady calls. And the cicadas and the crickets sound like maracas. And birds are the woodwinds. And their melodies are sweeten the sound. Are you delighted by the free concert outside your door day after day? I know I am. God certainly is. He created all of his creatures to declare his praise in ways only these small little creatures can do. There's something about music that just soothes my soul. It reminds me of a beauty greater and a power stronger and a purpose eternal that exists beyond ourselves. Music in all of its forms can lead us to worship when we remember the one who put the song in our hearts in the first place. Perhaps that's why God chose to live in the praises of his people. When we join with all of creation, singing God's praise from grateful and thankful hearts, our lives join creation symphony of praise and we are music to God's ears. Whether you put on a praise CD, play worship music from your computer, or simply sing in your heart to God, or like myself and my husband, we play with a group, we play various instruments, and we love to give praise to God through our music. Let this day begin with a heart that stands in awe of God's beauty and love. Let his greatness inspire your heart and lips declare his praise today. Our end in scripture verse is from Psalm 14, excuse me, uh, Psalms 147 verse one. It is good to sing praises to our God for it is pleasant and praise is becoming. So with that, we're going to end and remember to take your deep breath, inhale. I am God's child. And I am love. Never forget that. No matter what kind of day you've had or what kind of mistakes you've had, our God is a loving God and he forgives everything. With that being said, we hope you have a blessed day. And I hope to tune in again tomorrow. Bye-bye.